Hey there people, how are you doing? So, today we are comparing the video quality that we can get out of the OnePlus 8 Pro versus the Xiaomi Mi 10. And here, well, it's gonna be short because, well, the differences are very mild, if any. So, let's get into it without any further ado. Okay, so front camera test for the OnePlus 8 Pro versus the Xiaomi Mi 10. And here, I do think that the Mi 10 looks a tad bit wider, but Otherwise, the image quality will be pretty similar well, resolution-wise because, unfortunately, neither of these have higher resolution at 4K. Both of them are stuck at 1080p30, which is quite a bummer because, well, the hardware is all there. It's just limited by software, which is, like, again, unfortunate. Anyways, I'll let you know about the thoughts on image quality and audio quality soon enough. Okay, so here, first and foremost, I do think that the audio sounds a little bit more tinny on the OnePlus while it's taking out a lot more background noise, while on the Mi 10, it's actually a lot better on the vocals, but the noise reduction is really not there. So it's really your preference here because I think I prefer the vocals on the Mi 10, but otherwise they sound pretty similar. And image quality wise, I like how the colors look on the Mi 10, but I'm picking the OnePlus here because it's maintaining the highlights on my face a lot better. Alright, so for this little panning, it was really bright out there and I primarily wanted to see which one could handle the lens flares better. Let's just say neither of them did a stunning job, but otherwise overall image quality I do think is better on the 8 Pro because it's a little bit more cooler and a little bit more balanced in my opinion while the Xiaomi is really warming up the image a little too much and as you can see it's also overexposing a little bit more than the OnePlus does but otherwise I do think they look quite a bit similar in terms of details. Next up for this awkwardly barren tree right there well, I'd say that I once again prefer the OnePlus because the HDR is quite a bit better. The shadows are just a bit better exposed, but more importantly, the sky and the overall highlights are much better kept in check on the OnePlus. While the Mi 10 is really ever exposing here. Even the colors, as I said before, are a little bit too warm on the Mi 10, while the OnePlus is a lot more accurate in my opinion. Same story here, the OnePlus once again has a lot more accurate colors, and the temperature is a lot more balanced. But here, on the flip side, the Mi 10 actually has better shadow detail as you can see. So even though I prefer the colors on the OnePlus, I actually like the Mi 10 here. Alright, so moving on indoors and starting with the ultra wide videos. Here you can see that it is quite a bit brighter on the OnePlus while the Mi 10 is really underexposing which makes most of the shadows look very crushed. But detail wise they look pretty similar in my opinion. Both of them are in 4K so I don't think you'll have any loss in detail. But I do think that there is just a tad bit more noise on the Mi 10 while the OnePlus is keeping that very well in check. Next up with 4K30 on both, here you can see that the focusing on the OnePlus is really bad because i don't know why but the oneplus really suffers in maintaining focus on moving objects and here as you can see since valentine is moving a lot well the focusing isn't really up to speed here the mi 10 is just a tad bit better i'd say it's not the best i've seen the best would be the s20 where there's focusing in 4k it was stacked sharp no matter how much valentine moved but here, for both the phones, I'd say that the Xiaomi is like just a smidge better, but neither of them are exactly perfect with the focusing. Now, we're switching over to 8K30 on the Mi 10, which is unfortunately not even possible on the OnePlus. Now, I don't know why OnePlus didn't implement this because it's apparently now one of the main flagship features. But anyways, I don't think that the Mi 10 took a slight more hit in focusing and is more or less at par with the OnePlus now with its low tracking. But detail levels, man, that is just incredible as we'd expect because it's 8K after all. And you'll also see that the colors do look slightly bit better on the OnePlus, especially because it's a little bit more brighter than the Mi 10. Now this shot is actually backlit and as you can see, the focusing doesn't really suffer that much because for whatever reason, I do think that the major problem is in tracking that OnePlus suffers the most. But when you consider just a stationary object that is moving in and out of the camera's frame, well, the focusing isn't that bad. It's pretty damn good if you ask me. Even on the Xiaomi, it is almost lightning fast. But 
when it comes to tracking, as you saw in the previous clips, there, it really suffers a lot more than it should. I do think that the major problem here is with maintaining focus on a moving subject. If they're able to somehow tackle this problem of tracking focusing, then I'd say that a lot of the problems considering the videos would be more or less solved. Moving on to the super steady modes on both of them. OnePlus here has the upper hand because it can do 4K up to 30 in this super steady mode, while the Xiaomi is limited to 1080p at 30. But I do think that Xiaomi manages to handle the jerks of my hand a little bit better than the OnePlus does. But obviously you get a lot more resolution out of the OnePlus. And the quality is definitely a lot better in my opinion, which is why I'm actually picking the OnePlus even though the stabilization is just not that good. But when it comes to slow-mo, well, suffice to say, the OnePlus 8 Pro is definitely taking the upper hand here because it can technically do better slow motion than the Mi 10 can with 1080p up to 240, while the Mi 10 is stuck at 1080p at 120. It is a very bad limitation in my opinion because all of the hardware required for 1080p at 240 is right there. And I really don't know why Xiaomi limited it, but it's really sad to see such a limitation on otherwise such a capable phone. So that wraps up this very short video test for the OnePlus 8 Pro and the Xiaomi Mi 10. I do think that both of them are very, very similar for what they're worth and their cameras are definitely good. They're really good. But I do think that the OnePlus takes a few upper hands in a few places which overall gives it my preference but obviously the xiaomi mi 10 is no slouch not by a long shot because it has some of the most capable hardware for its price and i definitely think that if xiaomi is able to just improve the slow motion and the overall focusing then definitely it would be almost better than the oneplus's same goes for the OnePlus. If it's able to improve that focus tracking, I'd say it's solving a lot of the problems that the video has inherently got here. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, do hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be seeing you guys later. Cheers.